Afternoon, everybody. I'm going to be doing N6656 in a size 12, 100% cotton. And I was going to do A, but as an opening in the back, which I really, I don't like openings in my back. B has a 22 inch zipper, which I'm going to do B, but I'm going to be putting the sleeves on the B. So I have to cut out a few more pieces. I cut it out for A, and then I realized that it does have an opening, and it's just like this square type opening with a button and a little hook, and I just, I don't... I just didn't like it, um, but that's me. Um, so I have to cut out a number eight and nine for um, the B, and then um, we'll get going. Um, while I'm doing that, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, please watch the special video for... Um, when we hit a thousand, we're going to be drawing for a serger. It is for subscribers in USA residents only. And um, I'll get these cut out and I will be right back. Okay, so your first piece you need is number one. Now, I've already done this um, because I switched um, what I was going to do. I didn't want the open back. So the first thing you need to do is stay stitch your neckline. So you're going to go down this way and then come back and come this way. And that's just about a quarter inch away from the raw edge. And this is your front I do have my safety pin in to show that this is my front piece. Okay, then between the notches on the bottom of piece one, you're gonna gather. And just, if you um, using the gathering foot, just leave enough thread so you can gather it. Or take a piece of butcher twine or yarn and zigzag between the two notches and then you'll have this piece okay then get your number eight which is the back bodice and you're going to stay stitch again on each end, which I have to do. I had to use a different, I had to cut a different back. So stay stitch your neckline and I'll be back. Okay, now on the back, or number eight, which is the back bodice, we have to make darts. So come to the table. And if you watch my other videos, I do my darts a little different. And I do them on both sides. So I mark. my number, I'm doing a 12. Let me find my pen. Okay. And mark your number with that hole. And then right here and right here. Then I take a ruler and I go down my lot where my dots are and draw a line. Now you want to go in the middle of your dot. So 
right there. And I draw a line. And then I do it with the next dot. And then I turn my material over and I do the exact same thing. Be sure you're even. Do the exact same thing right in the middle of those dots. Let me see if I can find that dot. Of course, it's right on black. Then come back over and put a pin right in the middle here where this point is. Put them right there. And then get your lines evened up here on front and back. do that in the middle okay and then pin your point Then if you open up, you can see where your lines are matching and you know it's perfect. So then what you're gonna do is sew down all the way till you get about two stitches away from the point and you wanna be in that fold and then get off. So leave a long tail of thread at the bottom and one at the top, and then you can tie your dart. If you forget to do that, then you can just put a couple little dabs of glue on. So let me get both of these pieces done and I'll be right back. Okay, then you wanna press your dart towards the center and I have to use the the glue because I forgot to leave the tail <clears throat> when I have my automatic cut I forget and I just cut my thread let's see if I can get some out here there we go and I mean I just put a dab it's nothing it's just to kind of put those threads together okay let me get my other one done and I'll be right back I'll get your front piece and you're going to pin your shoulder seams together and you're gonna pin your sides and you're going to sew those up at a 5 8 seam match your notches okay. 
notifications. So the shoulders are five eighths and your side is five eighths and do this with both pieces. Match those notches up, it's important. I'm getting used to new glasses also, so it's taken me a minute to get used to these. Okay, so do both these and I'll be back. Okay, go ahead and press open your seams on your shoulder and your sides. Yeah, once I saw the opening, I was like, yeah, I don't want to buy a special bra to have to wear this shirt. So, that's kind of why I switched it. And these little iron ironing boards are great. Um, I got this one off of Amazon for about 10 bucks. And it really does help when you're doing little spots. Okay. I got to get some more water for my iron. Okay, if you're doing the sleeveless, this is where you would use number nine and just start doing your armhole. Um, I'm putting the sleeves on. So we're just going to skip that part right now. Okay, so now I'm going to jump back to um, top A because this is with the neckline. So now I'm gonna do um, the sleeve part because that's where the um, sleeveless is. So I'm gonna be doing the sleeves on this section. Okay. Do the neckline after we get that zipper in. So we'll have the zipper, but let me get my sleeves. Which is number four. And we have to ease stitch. So ease stitching is make your stitch a little bit longer or bigger and keep a tail on each end. It's almost like gathering but not quite. So you're going to ease between your notches. So find your notches, here's mine, in here. So just ease both of these and I'll be back. Okay, then on each sleeve, you're gonna sew up your side, match your notches, and sew up here. 
Then when you get done with that, open up your seam and you're gonna make a narrow hem. So you're gonna turn under like a quarter and then turn it again and sew it. So do that on both sleeves and that's a 5 8 seam. get your side done. Like I said, press your seam open. And then turn under like a quarter. And then when you get back around, turn it over again, press it and clip it or pin it and just sew that hem. Okay, while you're all doing that, I'm going to um, grab a cup of coffee and then I'll be back. Now, before you sew your hem on your sleeves, measure them. You want to be sure your sleeves are even. So just put them on top of each other. and be sure that they're even. So, okay, and I'm even. Sorry, you're gonna hear my bird go off. He's talking and whistling and... Okay, sew these up. And you wanna get like right to the edge of your hemline, your fold right here. Sorry. I guess this is a good place to show you. A subscriber asked me, um, you know, her material gets stretched out. And you need to let the feet do the work. Don't pull it through. So I just hold and let the feet pull the material. You're not, you don't want to sit there and stretch it and everything. Just let the feet do the work for you. And that way your material won't stretch out. So just kind of, you know, go along, let those feet do what they're supposed to. And they're just grabbing the material and bringing it through. When you get done with that, just um, press your hems. Just go along and press these down. And then we're gonna put the sleeves on. Now it's right sides together. And remember, we eased these, so we're gonna have to ease them in. Okay, get your sleeves. Now you're gonna have one notch because we are not doing sleeveless. So you're just gonna have to eyeball it. But get your sleeve right sides together. And you're going to hit your points. So the first point you want is your seam. And you're going to pin those. Then go to your next notch. Okay, there's my notch. Okay, 
Okay, then go up top to your shoulders. And you're gonna get half the sleeve. What I usually do when I forgot to do it is I'll fold my sleeve in half. And then at the top, I'll put a safety pin in. And that way I know that is my seam. That's the middle of my sleeve. So I'll just do that. I forgot to do it on this one. I'll see if I can get it pretty close. Okay. Okay, then come back. In your seams. Now we're going to have to ease this in to make it fit. And I don't think it's going to take a lot of easing. It's pretty Pretty well even. But if you have to ease it in, just pull your strings. And that doesn't look too bad. Come to your next side and pin. Get those edges even. My bird wants to go to bed. He knows when it's almost five o'clock and he'll start this till you put him into bed. Okay, so you're gonna sew five eighths. what your sleeve will look like. So let me get this sewn up. And we'll go to the next one. And be sure that you run your finger or your hand under here and keep this so there's no creases. Kind of get it nice and straight and flat. which will just give you some reinforcement here. Um, open up your sleeve and check that seam line. And be sure you have no creases, you know, nothing got kind of bubbled up in there. But you can see I'm right on with my seam. So... I'll go back and from notch to notch, I'm just going to sew again and then trim my seam allowance here with my pinking shears. So just grab your pinking shears. Don't hit your shirt. And I just take about half of this off. Keep cutting around. Okay. There we 
done. And then I just had something like this. Okay, I have to do my other sleeve. I got to get my bird to bed and um, start supper, but we'll finish this after supper. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back after supper. Okay, now you need number five and six. And I'm gonna put a pin safety pin in number five because it's the front and you have to stay stitch along here and then your back you have to stay stitch So let me get those done. Okay, with your number five, or number six, excuse me, you're going to sew one on one end and one on the other. Match your notch. Okay, so you're going to have a number six on each side of the five. And you're going to sew this at five eighths. Okay, open up your seams. And then just like the sleeves, we're going to do a narrow hem down here. So you're going to turn under about a quarter, maybe a little less. And when you get that all done, come back and turn it again and then clip it and sew it. Okay, now we're gonna put the front and top together. Now match your seams and your notches. And remember, we gathered this, so, um, you know, you have to gather it to fit in here. And you want to try to get your gathering looking even. You don't want like one big gather and then a little and you kind of want to try to get it even looking. So just go along and match your seams, your notches. And I usually get my sides done first and then I'll come back to my gathering. I just wanna get my four points done. Which are like my seams, my notches. and then I'll work on my gathering. And once we get that done, we have to put the zipper in. And they're not as hard. Now I don't have the invisible um, zipper so I have to see how this is gonna look with the zipper that I have on hand.
Okay, so once I have that done, then I come and I start working on my gathering. And it's essentially this bow part is going to be where all your gathering is going to go. So just start working. Find your gathering and just keep pulling it to where you need it to be. Match your notches. There's a notch right there. Be sure your raw edges are even. Okay, and then just keep working it till you get where you need to be. So let me get this done. And then my supper is probably ready. So I'll finish this after supper. But see, you want it, like you don't like want a bunch right here. You want to spread this out. Oops, I just broke my threader. And have it like this. So then when you open it up, you don't have like a really huge amount like right here and then nothing here and nothing here. Okay, once you have this all pinned, you're going to sew this at five eighths. Okay, and then we get to do the zipper. Okay, now press this seam downwards. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. Okay, I don't have an invisible zipper, so I'm going to put this like I would do a regular zipper. And you want to start about a half inch down from your top. So here's your neckline, half inch. And I'm going to pin this <clears throat> how I put my zippers in. I'm going, I'm going to pin this all the way down. And then I'm going to make my sewing machine to the biggest stitch it will make. And sew down. Just get everything even. Okay. So I have mine pinned all the way down. I'm gonna make my stitch. Let's see, hold on a minute. Let me start that. Okay. Make your stitch as long as it'll go. 
and sew all the way down from that half inch mark all the way down. And put your machine back where it needs to be. So you don't sew a big stitch. Okay, then go over and open up your seam. Now you're gonna need some um, tape or scotch tape. I use painter's tape. Okay, now you're going to place your zipper down. You want the zipper part right in the middle. of this seam. And get your tape. Be sure this is right on that middle. Start up here. And tape it. And you're going to do this all the way down. Okay, I'm going to shorten my zipper. Just a little. So how to do that is you just keep hand sewing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you make a tab. So let me get that done. Okay, and you want to use double thread. And you want to do it about 10 to 15 times. You want to get a good thick stopper here. Okay, and then when you're done with that, then you can clip it off. Okay, so that's good. And then just clip it off. like that. Okay, let me go back and finish taping this on. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. Um, and um, please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. It's really helping the channel. It's pushing it out there. We're growing. And I'll be right back with my coffee. Okay, so then your shirt will look like this. Now you put your zipper foot on and start sewing your zipper on. Get down, pivot, and come back up. And then we have to do the neckline. Okay, now be sure you keep this nice and straight and flat when you get your zipper on. And then we'll have to come back, unzip it a little, and then do the top. Okay, now you're gonna have to take out a couple of these stitches of the 
the long stitches that we did so we can get the tab down. Then you're gonna just sew up where your zipper needs to go. Okay, now take your seam ripper and one by one, take out those stitches right in the middle. And be sure you get the pieces of thread out because they will clog up your zipper. So just keep working at it. Let me get this done and then I'll show you. Make sure you take your tape off and it will just rip right off. Like that. Okay, and then just check your zipper. Be sure you got your threads out of the way. Okay, now we have the neckline to do. And I can take my safety pins out. So I think that's number three. So let me get that ready. Okay, with wrong sides together, press this in half. Okay, I have to make my marks again um, just because I'm using the heat pin. some of this but okay this is going to be a 3 8 seam and then what you're gonna do is take your pinking shears or just make little clips and so the neck will curve a little bit better you will have a little left on the ends um, you need that so you can turn it over. And then once we get that turned. Okay. So three eighths. Just get your raw edges as close together as you can. So just take your time on this. Okay, now take your pinking shears or um, making just little snips, like around the corner part. Don't get your shirt. So I'm just doing this around the um the rounded part.
Okay, now you're going to iron this. And then you're going to fold your ends. And then we have to understitch first. And then we'll turn this under. So it'll be like that. And then we'll top stitch. Okay, so now we're going to stitch in the ditch. That's what understitching is. Be sure that your seam is downwards. Okay, and then just stitch in the ditch all the way around. Okay, after you've done that, stitching in the bit, come over and you're going to fold your edges over right on the end where that zipper part is. And you want to get a nice square. So it's even with that zipper line. I need to get more water for my iron. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn under a little so it'll come to my um, ditch where I sewed in the ditch. So I'm going to turn that and iron it. And then I'm going to take a pin and push it through and see where I need to be. So I'll catch that. Okay, press your ends so you have a nice square. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to turn under some. Okay, then I'm going to put it right down near where I sewed in the ditch. And then I'm going to put a pin in my ditch and see if I catch any of that material. And I do. So when I come back to sew again, I'm catching this. Okay, you want to be sure that you have your pins on the outside because you're going to be sewing in the ditch. So just turn a little over. You want to go just a little past that seam that we already sewed in the ditch. And then turn your shirt over. Go in the ditch and see if you're coming out and you're gonna catch it. And then pin it. So then you'll have your neckline like this. Now take your time on this because you wanna to try to get this turn as even as you can. Okay, now take your time sewing this and keep it nice and flat 
And once you get this done, you have to sew a hook and eye. I have to see if I have one. It's only like, it's probably like a half inch. Yeah, it's about a hat, about a, well, maybe three quarters of an inch. I'll have to see if I have one. Okay, so take your time and you're sewing in the ditch again, but keep it nice and flat and straight. What you want to do is start like at your shoulder and start sewing and that way when you get to this corner it's not you're not getting stuck right there it'll uh, go right through I'm starting probably like five inches I'm gonna sew in the ditch And then when you get to this corner, it's not hard for the needle to go through. Okay. And then just start again. We started right there. So you can just start right here and keep sewing. I need my little scissors. So then I'm just going to start again and just so pick up where I left off, which was right here. Okay, I knew I had some. This is from my grandfather's dress company. So, and there are some black ones. Okay, let me get this sewn on. Okay, so on the inside, you're going to sew your hook and eye. Okay, and you want this even. The hook you want even. It's hard to see with this edge. And I'm just putting it in the middle. So just sew it on. And you have enough so you don't, thickness that you don't have to go onto the outside. Okay, so sew that on. Okay, everybody, here it is. I'll sew my um, hook and eye um, on after I get off camera. But this is a size 12. So I'm happy with that. Okay. So that was N6656 New Look. And we did B 
but we did the sleeves like A. Um, just so you know, A has like a slit and then like a square. And I really didn't like that for me. But this one worked out good, even with the zipper. Okay, well, that'll do it for tonight. Um, you all have a great night. And um, please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. The channel's growing. Um, don't forget to look at the special video. Um, a U.S. resident and subscriber uh, will win a serger um, as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. And uh, just please watch the videos all the way through. It really does help the channel. And uh, tomorrow I know, um, well, I have to go to the doctors, but um, afterwards um, I got to start making the pajama pants for my husband. So I'll probably do that. We'll make some pajama pants. And um, that's about it. So you all have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow.